Hey, I'm James Hayden here in Tindrum to race the Highland Trail 550, and this is my Fairlight Halt, and we're going to do a bike check. This Fairlight Halt is a bit different to the retail one. It's a prototype, so it's slightly slacker on the front, slightly different tubing uh, from Reynolds, and it's got a slightly longer chain stay with a slightly longer wheelbase, so it takes the 140 millimeter pike, which just makes it a bit better for bigger mountain riding rather than XC riding. And I think here in Scotland, it's quite similar to my home in the Pyrenees. It's going to ride really nicely. I'm running a 180 millimeter one-up components dropper because no mountain bike is complete without a dropper. So it makes it fun. I'm running hand-built wheels by Parallel Handbuilt. They're Beast Carbon rims, the TR30, so the trail rims. I've got uh, cush core inserts in the front and the back just to give a bit of softening and to protect the rims. And then I've got uh, Vittoria Barzo tires with a load of orange shield sealant in there. So um, I'm hoping not to punch her too much. Up front, I'm running a uh, Hope Tech stem with some carbon bars. They're 12 degree back bars. I quite like the little bit of flare on that. And I've got ESI grips, the, the squishiest ones they make just to try and make it nice and soft for my hands. For braking, I'm running the Hope uh, E4 brakes uh, with the Tech 4 levers up front. Uh, I've got the same on the front and the back, so 180 if I need to swap anything because something stops working, I can do that. I've actually put sintered pads in them because it's meant to rain in Scotland and you just go through organics really quickly, but uh, it's not going to rain, so I'm just going to be squealing around the course. For gears, I'm running the SRAM Axis GX. Uh, it's pretty bomb proof, this is not top of the line, so it's just nice and solid. I've got the Hope Tech cranks on there with a 28T ring up front because it's just the smallest you can get, so why not run it? And out back I have a 1051 um, and I 2810 is more than fast enough for any section on this course. So I'm just going to run the smallest ring up front I can get so I can get uh, up some of the steepest hills with ease. I'm running the uh, Hope Tech trail pedals. They just give a slightly bigger platform than the XC pedals. And I find that's kind of nice for the, the balance on my shoe and the pressures on my feet. So it's a bit of weight, but I actually think it really brings a lot of uh, comfort into pedaling. For gadgets and technology, I've got uh, Garmin Etrex 32X, which is from 1990 or something for navigation. Takes AA batteries, just keeps working even when it gets water inside of it. Really great for a race like this. I've got a Garmin InReach Mini 2 for uh, my GPS tracking and SOS. This is my own one, I use it at home, so I just brought, brought that with me. And I uh, have a, a, a mount for my phone on the other side as well. For lighting, I've gone for the K-Lite Dynamo running off my Son 28 hub up front. Uh, I normally don't use a Dynamo at this race, but I am so impressed with the K-Lite and the way it works off-road going slowly that I'm going to use it. And I actually have a little exposure Diablo on the bars as well, which clips straight onto my helmet. It's really efficient and quick for kind of tough uphill sections or tough technical downhill sections where I need uh, to be able to see moving at the same time. Uh, on the rear, I just have an exposure blaze. Uh, I've had that light for like six years now and it just works, so yeah. As we're in Scotland, I'm running the uh, Mudhugger Mudguards, the biggest ones you can get on the front and back. Uh, you might think you're not going to need them because it's not really raining, but uh, there's so much water on the ground, even with all the streams, you're going to be really thankful because that water's cold and it just splashes all over you. So these are like uh, a de-rigger addition, I think, for coming to race here. I'm running uh, the Tailfin Custom Frame Bag. In this, in the top, is more or less just for food and maybe some small consumable items like gloves and things like that because they're easy to get to. And then the bottom section is split in two and the bottom section is for uh, tools and more or less any mechanical stuff that I might need. So it's all in one place and if I get a problem, I know I can just go there and get out whatever I need to fix anything with the bike. I've got the Telfin 1.5 litre zip top tube bag. I, I quite like the zip. Um, there's actually nothing in it at the moment. I might put some more food in there or you know stuff that I just need or, or just end up in there. I kind of like to start the event with like a bit of space in one of the bags at least just so that I can move stuff around. I think if all of your bags are jammed full, it just makes it really slow to, to get to anything you need. On the front of the bike, I'm running the Tailfin Custom Front Roll. Uh, it's got a really nice quick closure mechanism, makes it very easy to take off, get stuff in and out. Uh, in this, I have a sort of a bivy, a sleeping pad, my wrap, uh, rain jacket, trousers, gloves, socks, and uh, an insulated jacket as well. And actually on the front, it's got like a little bit of elastic uh, for a pouch and you can just put stuff in and out of that really easily, which is super efficient when you're riding along. So I really like that. And I'm running the front roll 
rather than anything on the back because I like to use my dropper and uh, I don't really like weight on the back of the bike. I, I find it affects the riding. And I think this from proper mountain biking is good just to not have stuff there getting in the way. I've been working with the Telfin R&D team for over a year now, and it's really cool to see some of the bits that we've been speaking about in that time coming to uh, fruition, and the small tweaks that we've made since some of the prototype gear that I used last year to raise at Silk Road, uh, changing onto these bags here, it's, it's really nice to see. Thanks for taking the time to watch my bike check. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you've got any questions about my setup or the Telfin bags I'm running, then you can uh, leave them in the comments below.